What's up everybody, welcome back to the chaos. My name is Lila Tech and today you've got questions. Why the hell is this video like two days late? And why is it another last week in prison video? Well, the idea is to give you guys kind of an idea. Give you guys kind of an idea of what exactly went on last week. Because there was a lot of things that happened. There was a lot of stuff that happened last week that it caused me to miss videos. And there was also some drama that was happening on the Discord server, which has now been resolved. Which I will be... I guess airing out here. Also, I really wanted a chance to test out this thing. This is not relevant to any of you guys, but it's a little uh, color calibration card so I can color calibrate everything a little bit easier when I actually go to edit my videos. I also got this for like updating exposure and stuff. The, the video is not about this at all. I just wanted to point out that I had that. A lot of you guys know that I try to actually upload five videos every week for one for every weekday. I also work in the morning. I also try to work out every whenever i can i try to do all this stuff like to the best of my abilities and sometimes stuff goes right every now and again i miss video but to the, this time around i missed two videos in between my weekends which by the way are on tuesday and wednesday which is why i'm live streaming on those two days when i started live streaming again but this is more or less about what exactly happened in prison so yeah because that actually took away from a lot of what I could do this week. So to start off with, I was putting put in a housing unit that I really hate twice in a row. On that second day, however, I um, <laughs> I was I had to work overtime. I worked a twelve hour day on that day, which is why uh, Library of Ruin I never got edited. So yeah. However, when I was actually in the housing unit that I was working overtime with, I actually had to write somebody up for um, uh, he was. He was waxing his carrot in front of me. By the way, all the overtime that I tend to work exhausts me. I have to work overtime twice a week, minimum. And it has to be at least two hours of overtime. And here lately, normally what I would do is when, when it's time for me to work overtime, I'll actually volunteer to go to uh, the afternoon meal. And all I have to do is just go to the afternoon meal, make sure nobody gets into any fights or anything like that. Make sure everyone's following the rules. And then it's literally just two hours and then I can go home. <clears throat> But here lately, because we've been so pressed to try to get people, they haven't been letting you volunteer for that. So I had to volunteer at a housing unit. Saturday, however, was when a whole bunch of hell broke loose on the server. I'm not saying who it was, but somebody was, um, uh, basically, from, from what he was trying to make it sound like, he was bullying somebody without know knowing that he was actually bullying somebody. But let's be honest, um, it was straight up bullying, regardless, and... He wasn't taking the hint, so I had to put on my big boy pants and um, kick one of our admins from the server. Everyone kind of knows who it is. Um, if you know who it is, don't like spam them or anything like that. Don't judge them. Don't send them any emails or anything like that saying that um, he was being a bully or anything like that. Just let them be. I also forgot I have a mess behind me. It's clean laundry and a vacuum cleaner. Just, just ignore that. I didn't plan any of this. I just wanted something to go up so that you guys would be like, actually know what's going on with me. <sighs> Yesterday was a nightmare, however. And the reason for that is because... <laughs> oh boy. So to start things off, I was, again, placed in a housing unit instead of actually my actual post. This is the housing unit that I hate most of all. For the most part, the officers there really don't want to actually do their job. I <laughs> hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. It's true, though. They don't really hold anyone else accountable in that whole housing unit. So, there you go. Then you have people like me come in, and I now have to go and correct them, which is bullshit, and I'm not going to do it. The shift commander had to come to our housing unit twice to help us out. That's freaking embarrassing. Go to count everyone, which basically we just, we literally count how many, how many people are in the housing unit and compare it to what the control center actually has says we should have and see if we have the people we're supposed to. We enter one of the wings and it we hear somebody screaming. We go to the cell and they are like locked up into like they're literally locked up like this just screaming and their eyes are completely shut. We call over the radio that we have a medical emergency and we have the guy taken to medical. Turns out he um he was overdosing. We searched the cell and found out that him and his uh, cellmate both have contraband. I was about to fill out some paperwork, uh, basically for property removal. I see a cat in the background. I was about to fill out some paperwork for some property removal because he smashed his tablet, which, by the way, they do get tablets. Strangely enough, they just can't access the internet with them. 
I go to fill out the form and all of a sudden uh, my sergeant gets a call and that um, I am needed for an outside hospital, an emergency hospital trip. And on top of that, it's a high risk trip. So we had to have a sergeant who was uh, certified with a Glock to go with us because, uh, yeah, we needed an armed transport for that. Yeah. So that day um, I started my day at seven. I started working at seven. I didn't get off work until 1030 p.m. 15 and a half hours. No lunch breaks. That is why you didn't have a video yesterday or today, which is Monday. Today, not too bad. It was actually a rather easy day, which is great considering I lost about two or three hours of sleep last night. Hence why I'm not really doing a whole lot of editing. Instead, I'm putting this up. <laughs> yeah, so this next week or which my week starts on Wednesday. <sighs> Pretty much just trying to use refresh as much as I can. Just trying to get some time to talk to my girlfriend. And um, I'm also trying to promote some moderators for the server. I'm also going to be... Um, we're also going to be working on changing a few things about the server. Um, one of which is I'm probably going to be deleting one of the channels. We're, I'm pretty sure you guys might know which one I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be talking about to my moderators and admins on the server about uh, probably updating the rules so that no one's surprised. That's really all I've got. It's, this video was mainly just an update, uh, primarily. I guess I could tell you about the neat little trip I got to go on today. I basically worked, um, I basically transported a trash truck. Doesn't sound exciting except for the part where somebody else is driving the trash truck. I'm driving a separate truck with a shotgun. <laughs> Basically, they go to they have this giant compactor that the entire prison puts their trash in. Well, it's possible that somebody could actually sneak onto that and escape that way. So I have to follow the trash truck with a shotgun and I have to watch them dump all the trash out. And if I see somebody in the pile of trash, I'm supposed to shoot them. <laughs> This is all 100% true. Good news! I didn't have to shoot anyone today. <laughs> I even worked overtime today. Total... God, how much overtime did I get? I worked about 10 hours of overtime this week, which is like me working an extra day. I'm exhausted. I just need to get this up, play some video games, and sleep. But yeah, so I gotta say a quick thank you to all the amazing people who make this channel what it is and for just giving me... An unbelievable amount of patience. I'm trying to work on being more active on the Discord server. Today I just kind of got home and I crashed. But that's okay. Um, I'm trying to dedicate at least a little bit of time every day. At least while I'm editing. I could try to, you know, text some of you guys on the server. Or maybe even join some of the streams. I'm trying, I want to put more streaming channels in on the server if I can. Thanks to my two remaining admins for being awesome. Like, I'm not kidding when I said that you guys literally make the Discord server what it is today. It, so it would not have been possible without you guys working to help out. And thanks to all of you guys who watch my videos. Watch them, all of them, all the way through on half speed to increase watch time. Force your friends to watch these videos by strapping them to a chair and turning on my videos. Steal your friend's credit card information and force them to join my coffee or Patreon. Join Patreon, you can only donate to coffee. If your friend's really broke, tell him to donate a dollar to coffee. Or if he's if he's loaded, you know, tell him to check out the links in the description for Patreon and sign him up for a monthly donation. Hopefully soon I will be able to make this full time job. And uh, then I can, you know, not have to worry about you know going to prison every day. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to show me some love down below by hitting the like button. And don't forget to check out the annotations for more videos. Now we'll see you in the next video.